Hello friends, who is ready to have an incredibly productive last quarter of 2018 and get ready for their best year ever in 2019? I know I am and a big part of that for me is making sure that I am planning and setting myself up for success. So I wanna share with you guys my planning system today. It is never too late to get organized and to start planning. So even if you find this video way later, just know that you can start fresh, start new, and get organized anytime. And really, it's never too late. So if this is your first time with me, welcome to my channel. My name is May. I make videos about all the things that I love, and I am so fortunate to have an amazing community that shares those things with me, and we get to discuss so many wonderful things. So please make sure that you subscribe and that you like this video. Take some time to look through my channel and watch my other videos. There's a lot of great resources um, on different planning systems and other things as well. So I hope that those videos are useful for you. And definitely join me on Instagram because that is where my daily party is. I am always on stories. I love to share there with you guys. Um, I share a lot of healthy living ideas, a lot of um, meal prep and foods and um, productivity, wellness, just all kinds of great things. Um, I also have a lot of travel coming up in this last quarter of 2018. So um, it'll be fun for you guys to come along with me and see um, what I'm up to as well. All right, let's get started with this. Again, this is my current planning setup, what I'm doing right now to stay organized and also get set up for an incredible 2019. Traditionally, Q4 is a really busy time for most businesses. Um, a lot of that has to do with the holidays and that also translates um, into a very busy time for individuals as well. So we're all just kind of in this frazzled, hectic state. A lot of us are traveling. A lot of us just have projects and work and family obligations and events. So being organized and planning out your time is more important than ever, especially during these busy seasons. And I hope you enjoy things as well. All right, so let me show you. Now I've shared this in the past, but I do use a digital calendar on my iPhone. It's just the calendar app that comes on their standard. I use that for appointments. So just know that even though I love paper and I support writing things out, I definitely still use a digital calendar to keep track of appointments because those things move around a lot. Um, I don't write them in here. And also because I just have too many and they don't fit. So just remember that there is a digital component, but what I'm gonna share with you guys today is the paper. All right, this planner, you guys, I love this thing. First of all, it's like this faux leather. It came in this black color and like a creamy white as well. So it's a Trina Turk for Target Planner. And I'm sure many of you are familiar with her. She is a fashion designer. So I was really surprised to see that she had a line of planners at Target, but they are really nice. Just very clean, again, minimal, very chic. Um, I love this braided pattern. Like I said, there was a creamy white color which I really wanted. It was like a really nice ivory, but I was just afraid that I was gonna get pen on it and it would get dirty. I travel a lot and I um, will go to coffee shops to work and I just didn't want it to get really beat up and dirty. So I decided to go with the black, but I love it. It feels so nice and you can see it's a really good size. I love this thing. But the reason I decided to get it is not so much the outside, but the inside. The layout of this planner, you guys, I can't wait to show you. Okay, let me open it up. First of all, I do not like the inside. If you've been following me for a while, you can probably guess why. Too much pattern, too much color. I'm like not feeling this, but whatever. Once you get inside, it's actually not that bad. It's a lot of like white and clean and it's just really this border. Um, but okay, let me show you one of the spreads filled out. So as you can see here, I mean, it's so big, I can't even get the whole thing in to fit in the frame. All right, so I know that's a little bit crooked, but I just wanna be able to show you guys all of it in at once. So as you can see on this left-hand side, first of all, so much room, right? And I love that there is an actual like planning section on the left, and then the calendar part is on the right. That is just so nice. This is how my brain functions. And this is kind of how I set things up anyway. So I love this. All right. On the left hand side priorities, then there's also a do this week column, a nice big area for to do's. There's a two call section. 
And I broke that up into emails as well. These email stickers are from my collection. I designed these. So if you're interested in um, getting these email stickers, you can just check the description box below and there's a link for how you can order them. Um, this is also my sticker as well. I'll talk to you guys about that in a minute. There's a nice to buy section and then a big area for notes. So at the end of the week, I will kind of do a review. Um, I talk about this in my master class, which I'll tell you guys more about, but I do something called CEO Sundays. And part of that is reviewing my calendar and this planner and just seeing if there are things that I haven't completed. And the things that I have not completed, I will put a pink highlight next to it. And this is kind of an adaptation of my friend Bonnie um, and a system that she uses. I will leave her channel link down below. Definitely check her out, she's fantastic. So she has a system that uses these um, little highlight checks as well, but hers is a little bit different, so I adapted it to work for me. So when I am planning my following week, I can very quickly scan this, and everything that has a pink check next to it, I know that is some, it's something that I need to transfer to the next week. So as you can see, my priorities, um, purchasing tickets, all right, let me tell you guys a little bit about my masterclass. Now, if you do follow me on Instagram, you know that I released a masterclass. I have never been so excited about something. Um, I put my heart, my soul, my energy so much into it. It's called the Life Edit, and we talk about everything in this masterclass. Mindset, manifestation, organization, planning, productivity, money, um, wellness, just every aspect of life is something that I discuss in this masterclass. It's five audio modules. There's so many bonuses. There's a guided meditation. There's worksheets. There's just so much included. And I really believe that this is going to help you knock out the rest of 2018, have an incredibly productive and successful year, and also get yourself set up to conquer 2019. It really covers so many areas of life and the feedback that I've been getting has been tremendous. So I'm so grateful to those of you that have purchased the Life Edit and I'm so grateful to hear that it's something that has been beneficial to you all. So if you want to know more about the masterclass, I will have it linked down in the description box below so that you can get it. The cart will be closing. I'm not going to be offering this through the end of the year. Um, I'm really only just going to be offering it for a few weeks. So if it's something that you want um, and you're watching this video as it goes live, then definitely make sure to um, purchase it because I will not, it will not be available through the end of the year. I'm not gonna be doing an organization series here on YouTube. I know I've done that in the past, but I really wanted to find a way to serve you all better, and I feel that this masterclass is the best way to do that. So there will not be an organization series. So if you want to really dive into planning, productivity, mindset, manifestation, wellness, all those things, then the masterclass is the way to do that. So you can sign up below. Anyway, so as you can see here, this week I was doing a lot of outlining and pricing. All right, let's talk about this notes and phone pics. So I've talked about this again on Instagram before, but I screenshot a ton of things and I do a lot of notes in my phone. So I like to spend some time going through my phone, my screenshots and my notes app and just kind of processing that information. So if it's something I need to order or research, just taking care of it so that my phone doesn't get bogged down with all these screenshots because that just adds to mental clutter and I'm not interested in that. So I clearly didn't get to it this week, but it is something that I try to do at least once a week or every other week. Again, this do this week section, just some things that I had to work on. In my to-dos, I write blog posts or just random things that I need to work on. I love that there's a to buy section. I am looking for a crystal water bottle. So if you guys know where I can get one, let me know. All right, in the notes section, I use it differently. This particular week, you can see I used it to just write some intentions and some mantras. I just like to use it as a little area for inspiration. Here you can see that my goal was to walk 30 minutes a day for the month of August. So I put this little sticker here. It says, get going. I love it. Again, this is one of my designs from my sticker collection. So if you'd like to get this, um, I'll link it down below for you. So I just put that here. So again, just a nice area um, for inspiration. Sometimes I do use this for actual notes. I spent so many years in the planner community just using my planner in a pretty way, which that was fantastic at the time. That season of my life, I really loved it. A lot of stickers, a lot of washi tape, 
um, a lot of different colors. But now in this season of my life, I really need functional planning. So that's what I look to more than the pretty. Um, I still use a few different pens. I'll tell you guys about these um, and a few stickers that are very minimal and clean. But for the most part, I am writing in my planner. I'm being very deliberate, intentional, using it to actually plan. So before I go into the calendar part of this, let me tell you guys about my pens really quickly. Again, pretty minimal. I love this gel pen. I think I got it from Staples. I'm not really sure, but it's really nice. Love the way it writes. Also using this Inkjoy multicolor pen. I think this was one of my like first planner girl um, multicolor pen purchases. So I know if you guys have been with me for a while, you probably remember these. I love these friction pens. This is an erasable pen and it's purple. I um, use this for blog and social media things to just kind of keep them separate. And then again, like I told you guys, this is the highlighter um, that I use to kind of move tasks. So again, pretty simple. And if I'm out and about and need to use my planner and I don't have a pen, let's say I wanna write something for my blog and I don't have my purple pen, you guys, it's okay. It's not a big deal. I will write it in. In the past, I probably would not have done that, um, but now I'm just kind of over it, quite frankly. I just want to use my planner to um, help me be productive and to help me clear my mind and be organized, and I'm just going to write the things down. All right, I love this setup. I can't get over it. She did such a nice job. So again, it is a horizontal. The whole week is on here. Weekend is split. As I mentioned, I do not put my appointments in here. Well, I don't put all of my appointments in here. If there's an appointment that requires some kind of like prep, I might put it in here so that I can remember to do whatever task is associated with it. So let me give you an example. I had a board meeting on this day at 11. There was some prep that was required. So I wrote that in and wrote the prep in so I would know to do that work. Or um, this networking breakfast, I wanted to practice my elevator pitch before I got there. You know, I do so many different things. I feel lucky to have a varied career and um, a lot of different tasks that I do as part of my career, but sometimes that can be difficult to tell people what I do. Um, so I've been working on that, trying to craft an elevator pitch um, that is very succinct and really gets my story um, and my value across. So that was something that I wanted to work on there. And then um, this facial that I did, I was doing a blog post on it. So this appointment had an associated task with it that's why I wrote it in here but I had a million other things a million other appointments that happened those days that weren't written here sometimes I'll use this as memory keeping not really you can see I went to this area to have coffee and to ship a few things um, and so I wrote that in there just just as a fun little memory I mean it's it's really not that big of a deal but sometimes I just like to write it down I went to yoga I had an amazing practice that day so I wanted to write that down um, and then here I just wrote this Zoom call probably to remind myself that I needed to like get dressed and like be ready to go by 3.30. So sometimes I work from home and on those days it is like, it's a struggle. I try really hard to get up and get dressed because I believe that we're more productive when we um, are dressed better, but man, sometimes it's hard. All right, in green, I have my um, movement written down for the day. So as I shared with you guys, I'm trying to walk 30 minutes a day and so I was keeping track of that in green and then I wrote um, the meal prep in red. I usually will do my meal prep for the whole week um, either on Sunday or Monday. This particular week um, I, I guess I did it on a Monday. So and then again my weekends I don't plan too much out but here um, again just a little bit of memory keeping. I just like to remember that I had a brunch here um, and then I had a friend visiting. We went for a hike. So Pretty simple, as you can see. And again, I am not afraid to write in here. So if I need to write something down, I'm going for it. If I don't have a specific pen, that's fine. I just like to keep it really clean, simple. I'll show you guys the monthly layout in this calendar. So I will usually use this to keep track of blog posts or campaigns that I'm working on and my travel. Um, that's really about it. All right, so that is that. Oh, one final thing, as you guys can see, this doesn't have tabs for the months, so I just added my own tabs. Not ideal, but it's fine. 
All right, and the final part of my planning system is just a notebook. Again, you can see I have lots of tabs here, but I will just use this as a daily download if I'm sketching things out. Again, when I was working on creating my masterclass, I did the entire outline in here. So I know that we live in a digital age and a lot of us use digital things for our productivity and organization, but I truly believe that there is a power in writing things out pen to paper. So when I was creating that masterclass, I really wanted to be intentional about what I was putting into it. I told you guys, I put so much energy, effort, love into that. And I believed that the planning needed to happen on paper as well. So that's in here. Sometimes I will make lists. Sometimes I'll put to do's in here. Um, sometimes it turns into a bullet journal. You know, it's just kind of a hodgepodge of things. But this is just a really pretty little notebook. I think I got this from TJ Maxx. I love the pattern and I love that it fits this planner perfectly as well. So I can just pop the two of these into um, my bag if I'm going out and I can take them with me. But again, I use this to just really delve deep into different projects. I talk more about project planning in my masterclass. So if that's something that you need help with um, as far as productivity goes, then I definitely recommend checking out the masterclass. Um, again, it's not gonna be available for very long. So if that's something that you're interested in, um, definitely make sure that you head to my website for that. That's it, you guys, a really simple system. Um, again, this is just such a busy season of my life that I try to keep things as clean and simple as possible so that I can really get things done um, and continue to move forward. This system is definitely going to stick with me through the end of the year. I am also planning my 2019 projects in here. So I really believe that before we can move on to anything big, we've got to get the foundation set. And for me, you know, kind of getting through the rest of 2018, in a very calm and intentional way is the foundation for me so that I can plan and prepare for 2019 and just transition into that very smoothly. Although the new year is an amazing time to start fresh, I have said this a million times, but I will say it again, you really can start new anytime that you want. So if you're ready to start now with a new thing, then go for it. Don't think that you've got to finish out the year and then only can start January 1, 2019. Um, we can decide to start whenever we want. And the most important thing is that you take action on whatever big ideas that you have. I really believe that having a nice, solid planning system in place, whatever that looks like for you, is really going to allow us to do big things in this world. So whatever your goals are, just write it down. If, if that is only one thing I can tell you, it's to get it out of your head and get it on paper. Um, and that will lead to a lot of cool things happening. So I share my planner system with you, not because I think that you have to do the exact same thing, but because I wanna give you an idea of what you can do. But I really hope that you will take all of these planner setups that I've shared with you guys, um, this one and the ones in the past, and really just make them your own. Watch other videos on YouTube as well and put a system in place that will allow you to just get moving. So don't let yourself get too overwhelmed. I have no doubt that we will all have an amazing end of the year and a great start to 2019 as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends that you think might benefit from this. That really helps others to see my videos and my content as well. Don't forget the masterclass is ending soon. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and grab it now. If you have any questions, I'm always happy to discuss. You can message me through my website. You can DM me on Instagram and I would be happy to answer any of your questions. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you soon. Bye.